minutes ago. The victim informed that the shop was not open for business yet. The robber entered the shop through the front entrance. He was holding on to some sort of a knife which he used as a weapon. How much was stolen? He originally took $4,000, but as he was running away, he dropped some of it. He got away with $650. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. I am Senior Investigation Officer Kamil. Can you tell us what happened? He pushed me from behind when I was entering, and he threatened me with a weapon. Then what happened? Then he asked me for money, so I took out the cash box and gave him the money that was inside. When you say he asked you for money, what language did he use? English. He spoke in English. Can you describe him? He was about the same size as me, but I couldn't see his face because he was wearing a white mask covering his face. And he wore a white motorcycle helmet. Can you describe what clothing he was wearing? He was wearing dark colored long sleeve jacket, dark green t-shirt, black pants and black shoes. And he was wearing quite knitted gloves, the kind used for construction work. Did you manage to see which direction he ran towards? To the car behind the block. Then I saw him running to the next block, but he was too fast. I couldn't follow him. Luckily, he dropped some of the money he stole. Ma'am, do you have a CCTV camera in the shop? Yes. Can we take a look? Sure. The robber is wielding a saw blade. Now that's not something that you find lying around the house. Could be that the robber is familiar with heavy machinery. Or he works in construction. Okay, cameras the area for any possible witnesses and gather any CCTV footages from around the block. He might still be up, and if he's desperate enough, he can injure someone seriously. We need to find him ASAP. Okay, okay. Ma'am, can I have a copy of this CCTV? Sure. CCTV camera that faces the car park is mine. I knew it would come in useful one day. Can we see the footage? Of course, of course. Here it is. About 11 a.m. just now, right? camera footage from the HGV blocks and the CCTV from the car park entry. Do we have any leads to where the suspect was hidden? So, as far as we can tell, after the robbery, the suspect fled in the southeast direction riding a black bicycle. Anything else? Earlier, well, I put out a taxi podcast crime alert to all taxi companies to inform their drivers to be on the lookout for a male subject wearing a white motorcycle helmet, a dark colored long sleeve jacket and pants, and riding a black bicycle. We got a tip off from a vigilant taxi driver. for bus stop CCTV camera footage along the same route. He crossed an overhead bridge and we managed to track him heading into the private estate in Kambangan. The private estate in Kambangan is a pretty large area. He could have exited at any number of points. Canvas the area. Maybe someone saw him passing by or caught him on CCTV. Also check if any of the residents have in-car cameras. Mm. Let's see where is his final destination. Hi, sir. I'm an investigation officer, Andy. Have you seen a man wearing a white helmet riding a black bicycle yeah, around here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, thanks for your help. Uh, my SRO will come here. You've seen this person before? No. Oh, 
see a man wearing a white motorcycle helmet and riding a black bicycle? No. Does your house have a CCTV? No. Right, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh. Yeah. Hi, miss. I'm investigation officer Suresh. Did you see a man wearing a white motorcycle helmet and riding a black bicycle? Uh, no. And does your car have an in-car camera? No, I don't have. Okay, thank you very much, Rena. Hi, sir. Can I have a look at your CCTV camera footage, please? Okay. Thank you. Alright, that's all we need. Can you WhatsApp me this video with this number, please? Okay. We'll Alright, thank you for your help, Mr. Bond. Suresh, I've updated the map according to the latest sighting of the subject. According to the route he's been taking, his next destination should be around North. Mm -hmm. I'll put out an alert to look out for the suspect there. Hello, POC Simawadu. Watch away, sir. Is that here speaking? This is the investigation ah. officer Suresh from the one division. Please send a lookout message for a male suspect wearing a dark colored long sleeve jacket and pants. He was last seen wearing a white motorcycle helmet and riding a black bicycle. Roger noted, can check where this suspect headed to? Last seen heading towards Bedok North. Suspect is being taken up. No, 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 no. Option to all ground resources to look out for a male suspect wearing a dark colored long sleeve jacket and pants. He was last seen wearing a white motorcycle helmet and riding a black bicycle. Suspect was last seen heading towards Bedok North and believed to be armed. Approach with caution. Option to all ground resources to take note. Message here, North Slope standing by. Hello, Suresh speaking. A man fitting the suspect's description has been caught on the police camera at Bedok North. Could you send me a screenshot of the image now? Thanks. A man matching the suspect's description went into Fong Ching Capital. Here's a screenshot image. Can't really see his face. Ten quotes. Could be a guy. Possible. Let's go and see what he was doing there. Let's go. Investigation officer Suresh, have you seen this man again? I can't tell if it's the same guy, but he's wearing the same clothes and he also had this same white motorcycle helmet. Where was he here? Oh, he was paying off a loan. How much did he borrow? The loan amount was $400, but it might not have been his debt. You mean he was paying off someone else's loan? Yes, you can pay off someone else's debt as long as you have the person's name. Do you have this man's name and contact number? No. But I have the contact details of the person who's dead he paid off. Okay, that'll do. We need to see your CCTV footage. Okay, phone me. I need a copy of this and the borrower's details. Okay. Finally, a clear shot of the suspect. At least now we know what he looks like. Hopefully the borrower will be able to lead us to him. Or better still, the suspect is the one who borrowed the money. Well, we know one thing for sure. He's still armed. Look at the white plastic bag he's carrying. It has a saw blade in it. We need to find him before he uses that weapon to hurt anyone. 